Hello, one and all. It's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. How's it going? I am going to try to put out wire is stuck here. I hate these wires. What am I doing? This is 2024. Why am I still messing with a wire? Um, I'm going to try to get to three videos this week, all of which have been requested for a long time now. And I just really want to take a week and kind of take maybe the longest running requests and get those in. So that's what this is going to be. During the mid, mid 70s, early 80s, something like that, I spent a vast majority of my time listening to bands like Queen, R.E.M., um, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, Pink Floyd, name them. I got a few of the albums back here. Every so often during that time period, though, I would kind of break away from that rock genre and listen to two female singers in particular. One was Olivia Newton-John, which I just, it was so different from what I would normally listen to. But it back in the early days with her, she did have that country sound. So maybe that drew me to her. And um, then there was Linda Ronstadt. I was probably most taken back with Linda Ronstadt by the power in her voice, as well as obviously her control and technique when singing. It was just, as far as I was concerned, it was unmatched. She was really an amazing singer. And the fact that PSP has really stolen her voice from her is just so incredibly sad. And thankfully, we have videos like this to look back at and we can appreciate all the music that she gave us. I've been asked a couple times now, like I said, to react to her singing the song. And the name of the song is La Chariada. I'm probably butchering that. I apologize. Um, but I'm going to be doing that one. And I just want to make sure I get this one in. So let's go ahead and do it now. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's um, get through about half of it. And then we'll talk a little bit. Charra fiesta del sol De los charros valientes dan con sus cantos la evocación El caripeo su pesejo que huele a surco y a tradición Revela de la faena más salirada de mi nación Bonito ser jaripe, y cuál es su animación. Yo quiero montarle un toro para que me mire mi amor. Upaliu paliu, upaliu paliu. Yo quiero montarle un toro para que me mire mi amor. Wow, she sounds amazing here. This is a really interesting live performance. Okay, we're getting through this song, so let's pause it here. Wow, this is really, really fun and really interesting to uh, to watch and to listen to. Right out of the gate on this one, she just throws out her powerful voice like only Linda Ronsia can do. And what she's really, I think, probably most well-known for. Linda does have a, a Mexican heritage. Is it her mother, I think, that's 
uh, from Mexico. Don't hold me to that, but I want to say it's her mother. So what I think we're seeing here is something that's extremely personal and probably just really close to her heart. And we're definitely seeing that in this live performance. What immediately jumped out at me is how incredibly authentic all of this is. Authentic, that's probably the best word I can come up with when you look at this. I don't speak Spanish, but I've heard enough to know that her pronunciation is very clear and sounds to be spot on. So um, obviously she's had that upbringing. So that just makes more, um, I don't know, it just makes it more real and more believable. I guess that's the best way to put it. Put it. There's no doubt that she's paying particular attention to make this musical arrangement authentic and rich. And I have no doubt, I don't know this for a fact, but I have no doubt that she had a big hand in this entire production. I, knowing what I do about Linda Ronstadt, I'm sure she did. So I'm going to back this up just a little bit more. This is really fun to watch. And I'm going to play this to the end. Here we go. Fiesta charra, fiesta del sol. No, de los charros valientes están con sus cantos la evocación. El caribe es un festejo que huele a surto y a tradición, revela de la faena más admirada de mi nación. Bonito ser caripe, y cuando es su animación, yo quiero montar un toro para que me mire mi amor. Upali upali u, upali upali u, yo quiero montar un toro para que me mire mi amor. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. That was fun. All right, let me shut this off. Okay. Um, <laughs> when I think of um, Linda and her really just strong voice that she has, I think of songs like Blue by You, one of my favorites, Blowing Away. I don't know if that was one of her more popular ones, but I just love the song Blowing Away. You're No Good, When Will I Be Loved. All of those were such wonderfully strong and powerful songs. And now we have this one to add to it. <laughs> I've mentioned um, Authentic probably several times now, but this song had it all. And that mariachi band was just incredible. If I had to throw out two words for them, I'd probably say instrumentational excellence. How's that sound? <laughs> then they had the presentation. Besides their sound, they had that presentation that was just incredible to watch. I bet seeing this live was just really fun and i would have just loved to have seen this live especially here in linda live which i unfortunately never had the opportunity to do there was just so much um history and culture here and that just screamed throughout the entire song there's collaborations and then there's this and these two uh just flat out belong together and what a wonderful opportunity to hear something like this in a live setting so okay let me get my headphones off and I will be back with final thoughts. Hold on. We are back for final thoughts. You know, as I was uh, recording that first segment, I wanted to mention who requested the song, and it just, I couldn't think of it at the time. So instead of humming and hawing, I figured I'd just announce it now. So this one was requested by Sheila. So Sheila, thank you, one, for listening, and two, for the request. I really appreciate it. And I hope I'm doing this justice <laughs> um anyways this video thank you again so anyways this video i think was about as real as it gets and you take that combination of powerful and authentic and it's clear that she's got major respect for this traditional mexican music and i can see why and what makes this song difficult to sing is that it requires both um energy 
and passion. And those two aren't always easy to put together. And Linda displayed both of them here in this song and this performance in really an amazing way. I just mentioned her cultural uh, respect for the song, but a lot of that comes from her outstanding technical skills, her voice control, her range, her clarity, just everything came together here in just a perfect way and shows us why she is really well known and will always be well known for her just fabulous, fabulous voice. This was only, I believe, the second song that I've heard from her singing in Spanish. The other one was Lo Siento Mi Vida, and I think that was from her Hasten Down the Wind album. I do have it up here. It's just the other side of this blue one up on top, so you can't see it. But um, I, I love that album. All of Linda's albums are, are really, really good. And you know what? For a song to be this good that we just listened to, and for a listener to feel the love for the song in such a strong way, it's clear that she's got a genuine emotional connection to the song. I've heard Linda sing songs that were very folky. Uh, some were very like country, very popish, very jazzy and smoky, and now very cultural. <laughs> so, uh, wow, that clear, clearly demonstrates her versatility as a singer and an artist. Her music is clearly defined by her ability to transcend, if you will, these musical boundaries. And it just adds to uh, authentic, adds the authentic, authenticity, authenticity. <laughs> I'll work through that one to uh, really to every song that she sings. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that because my tongue's starting to get tied up anyways. So well done. I love this song. Um, thank you, Sheila, for the request. I really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, listen, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would su su consider subscribing to my channel, that'd be great as well. So, all right, listen, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count, okay? God bless all of you. Peace out. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.